A man has become the world's first person to contract a fungal disease from a plant. I've been seeing this headline everywhere about a 61-year-old man in India infected with a fungal disease. Media outlets are calling it the first plant fungus disease to infect a human. That to me seems like a clickbait headline and lazy journalism. So let's talk about it. The fungus in question is called silverleaf disease or Chrondosterium purpureum. It's a fairly common plant pathogen that infects a wide variety of trees. As with most fungal plant pathogens, this disease is spread by a spore coming into contact with the sapwood of a tree, spreading its mycelium, and then eventually growing a fruiting body and repeating the process over. Usually it is deadly for the tree. It kills the tree by blocking the vascular system of the tree, i.e. the xylem and the phloem, killing the tree and then eating the wood of the tree so it can produce a mushroom to spread the spores and continue the cycle. This fungus has been observed around North America and is fairly common in orchards. It's even been used as a mycoherbicide to control the growth of unwanted trees. The man in India who contracted this disease got a mild respiratory infection which was cleared up after about two months on an antifungal. The issue I have with this reporting is this is not an uncommon occurrence. Well, this is the first example of this particular fungi causing disease in humans. There are many other examples of plant pathogens that can also infect humans. This is not uncommon in any way. There are a bunch of examples of other kinds of fungi that are plant pathogens that can also infect humans and often cause respiratory issues. Most of these diseases are fairly easy to treat with an antifungal, but there are some that are showing levels of resistance, which is worrying. The average human body temperature has been dropping while global temperatures are rising, making it easier for fungus to infect us. This increases our chance to get fungal mycoses or systemic diseases caused by fungi. Most of these fungal mycoses are fairly benign. They cause a rash, toenail infection, yeast infection. It's not a big deal and we have antifungals that can treat them. There are, however, some more serious fungal mycoses that are especially dangerous for people who are immunocompromised. We are seeing an increase in the number of these fungal mycoses, and especially worrying is the emergence of Candida auris, which is resistant to many of the antifungals that we do have. So as scary as some of these fungal mycoses can be, none of them are going to turn us into infected style zombies from Last of Us. Fungal diseases tend to move fairly slowly, they're not super pathogenic, and they're not very easily transmissible from person to person. So while we should be aware of them, it's really not something to fear.